acceleration. We want our students to understand acceleration as the rate of change of velocity. And we talk about all kinds of different things. We want them to think of it as speeding up, slowing down, turning a corner, gas pedal, brake pedal, steering wheel, all those things. That is acceleration. It is difficult because we have a particular definition which is really interesting and different from all the other, everybody else thinks gas pedal only, right? No, 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 here in physics, acceleration. That word is the rate of change of velocity. Since it has a direction, you can change direction, gas pedal or brake pedal. And then we do dumb things like use this, meters per second squared as the unit for acceleration. That doesn't make any sense. That is a math shortcut for something we want our students to understand. So just, th that is, just, don't, no. Meters per second squared, get rid of it. What we should be using is something like meters per second each second, written out like that. If you write meters per second each second out like that, you're like, oh, well, it's the, it's the change of velocity over time, the rate of change of velocity. Okay, okay, or, or write it down like this. Meters per second per second with a little pause. That's how I usually say it, meters per second per second. Leave a little pause there, like, oh, okay, so there is a difference between velocity and acceleration. It's really important. Meters per second is velocity divided by time. That's a rate, meters per second per second. Meters per second each second. Keep that pause in there just to emphasize that this acceleration is something significant and different here. And uh, miles per hour every second. I start out with this kind of stuff because you start out with the car, like cars at 20 miles an hour and speeds up to 40 miles an hour in five seconds. What's the acceleration? Meters per second squared. Don't do the conversion. Just get them an understanding of miles per hour per second. Miles per hour each second. Miles per hour just that and kilometers per hour per second for most of the rest of the world, if that's what you're gonna use, right? KPH per second. That's what we need to do. This is how we need to write it. You need to stop saying the dumb meters per second squared. That's, that, that does not, that is counterproductive, dumb. No more of that, more of that. Thanks for watching Learn Physics. And thanks for that thumbs up too. Really helps a lot. New videos most academic weeks. Subscribe for more. I've even got education ideas, Freaky Physics Friday, and Tech Tip Tuesday. And for bicycles, motorcycles, and family adventures, it's my other channel, Bike Physics. You just learned physics.